Hey guys, you're watching Boone Docking with Dennis. It is 4.07 p.m. Wednesday, June 19th. Officially Tropical Storm Alberto. Uh, the heavy stuff has gone past us and we're just getting bands of heavy rain and then it'll stop and we'll get heavy rain again. I'm on Highway 35 going north over to Lamar and Holiday Beach. The storm chasers are in town. <laughs> that's, uh, that's never a good sign. When the storm chasers were here during Hurricane Harvey, they were staying at the uh, Fairview Inn, or is it Fairfield Inn? About a mile behind us. And literally the whole side of the hotel facing the bay came off. You could see down hallways and into rooms. So I hope, uh, hope we're a little bit more hospitable for them this time around. I haven't, I haven't watched anything they're doing here. I've been kind of uh, doing my own thing. I'm going to head over to Lamar and Holiday Beach. Someone posted on Facebook, so I don't know if it's true or not, that the storm chasers reported tornadoes and water funnels. Now, that's on Facebook. I checked the National Weather Service and there is no mention of any spotted tornadoes. We had uh, two tornado warnings today. The last one ended at 12.45 p.m. And uh, that's where I'm getting most of my information from. I have two weather apps I'm keeping an eye on. <clears throat> but for the most part, I'm using my eyes. There were a couple times that uh, the rain stopped and the wind stopped and the skies got lighter. And uh, for some reason, that, that just scared the hell out of me. <laughs> I think I've maybe seen too many movies, but it's, it's usually when something bad happens, right? The quiet before the storm. I've heard some uh, thunder in the distance a few times, but uh, no lightning strikes within two miles of where I've been parking most of the day in Fulton, Texas. I did a full video this morning, uh, just around dawn, that uh, will post Thursday morning at 4 a.m. Uh, Thursday, June 20th at 4 a.m. And uh, I covered a few areas showing you some of the flooding along Fulton Beach Road and Water Street. But uh, as long as the highway right here is clear, and it seems to be, I'm going to try to get over to a buddy's property over in Lamar. Uh, not too far from Goose Island State Park. And uh, we haven't had super high winds. Uh, we haven't had real, real heavy rain. We've had moderate to heavy rain, but nothing devastating. We've had a lot of rain, but uh, nothing like a hurricane. Unfortunately, some of us have been through a hurricane or five already so it's uh it's a big difference you, you can see the wind right now the the trees are barely moving i haven't seen it go over 25 miles an hour and that seems to be where most of the destruction comes from my buddy's kind of over in a wooded area in lamar you know what let's uh see if we can follow up a Facebook report that the storm trackers were over here with their equipment checking the bay. I'll 
tell you what, my uh, my truck is clean. <laughs> I just went through a car wash for uh, 12 hours, 16 hours. No big puddles over here. There's a van that looks like a Nomad. Do the storm trackers have a van that says storm trackers on it? Does anyone know? I do not know. I just know a lot of you guys who have properties down here are hungry for information, so I'm just trying to show you. But you might want to check out storm trackers. And uh, yeah, there's no one over here. Uh, go around the circle here it is funny when uh, the rain was at well the rain was really heavy after I did that first short video yeah you can see yeah well we're not going to go around the circle are we yeah it's all salt water it's shallow enough but I don't feel like getting salt water on my truck any more than I have to I already ran it through some puddles that I knew were fresh water just to kind of wash the undercarriage a little bit. But yeah, you can see the gravel and all right there up on the road. So that gives you an idea of the storm surge. Well, yeah, look, look at the, uh, I didn't even notice this coming in. Check out the boat ramps. Check out the boat ramps. Wow. Yeah, the water's a little high. How high's the water, mama? six feet high and rising i've pointed this out on uh, other videos of mine over the years but that classic song and i i like the johnny cash version how high's the water mama and mama says six feet high and rising how high's the water papa and papa doesn't say six feet high and rising papa says she said it's six feet high and rising meaning uh he, he's not going to mess with mama he might think it's five feet, he might think it's seven feet, but uh, yeah. Mama says it's six feet, it's six feet. Husbands, pay attention here. You can see we got storm clouds and different clouds, layers of clouds. We're going to go over the Lyndon B. Johnson Causeway here. And we'll be over in Lamar and Holiday Beach. Now, if there was a tornado over here, I would imagine. Uh, there'd be rescue vehicles everywhere, and ambulances, and linemen, and uh, all that stuff. I don't see any of that. I don't see evidence of any of that. I also want to say that most of the businesses in Rockport are open. Um, most of the restaurants, the fast food places, grocery stores, as far as I know, which is very little, uh, no one in Rockport lost power or Fulton, which is, that's usually wind damage. So unless your property is brayed on the water, like on stilts, I don't think you have too much to worry about. This particular house, uh, well, property that we're going to check, uh, has a gator pond nearby. So I jokingly said to them, you know, you might have a gator on your front lawn, but that's about it. The real dangerous driving is taking like Lamar Beach Road, Fulton Beach Road, Water Street, where the salt water is being pushed up onto the road. And I, it, the surge is so high, I haven't even checked like high tides today or anything like that. But uh, I'm safe, I'm fine, everything, everything is gonna be all right this morning. Yeah. Woo! I um 
I went to Popeye's and I got a chicken sandwich because I'm not standing out in the rain to cook today. And uh, there, there was two young ladies working there, uh, no one in the restaurant. And I said, uh, well, tornado warnings, but they, they make you work today. And she, she, she's, the girl said, I'd rather be here than home because uh, here, if we know there's a tornado, we can go into the cold case. And I said, that's actually a really good thinking. It, it sounds like the beginning of every teen movie comedy that I've ever seen, you know, and then you have flashbacks of high school while you're sitting there because you've locked yourself in the cold case and you're waiting to be rescued. I wonder where all the deer are. I wonder if the guy that feeds the deer puts out uh, food for the deer today. Where I parked last night for the first time, thank you again to my buddy Pat. It says the elevation is 10 feet above sea level. So we'd have to have some uh, major surges to get to where I parked about three feet off the water. It's a very nice uh, grass lot with a little gravel driveway you can drive on. And uh, Pat, I didn't see any puddles on your property. There's a uh, kind of a puddle uh, where the drainage ditch meets the driveway, but that's about it. This is the way we go to Goose Island State Park. I wouldn't want one of those uh, bayside sites. where we saw, uh, visited our friend, Mr. and Vi Mr. and Mrs. Adventure America, Troy and Angela. They would probably be good. Their site had a little bit of elevation to it. So good drainage from the storm surge, but just getting your RV all covered in salt water can't be a very good idea. I like to slow down when I come through here because it always seems the deer uh, love to play chicken with my truck for some reason. Knowing my luck, the, the one deer out in the rain would decide that this was a good time to cross the street. If you're new to my channel, nice to meet you. If you're here for the storm coverage, thanks for checking it out. I live full time in my F-150 that we're driving right now. Her name is the Love Shack. She's got a Lear topper on the back and I've been doing that full time for five and a half years. Hopefully can do it for another five and a half. Was that a deer on the right? Did I just catch a little glimpse of a deer? There's deer right there. Oh, baby deer. Come on, buddy. Why did you wait till I was coming? Come on, Mark. Freaking Mark. Every time I come through here, I told you. I'm glad I was going 16 miles an hour. My moles will find them. Same thing with the uh, new chicks at uh, Rockport Beach. For some reason yesterday, all the new hatch chicks, mostly uh, laughing bulls, were uh, walking in the road. So if we made a right break there, that would take us to the entrance to Goose Island State Park. We're going to go over here to 4th Street and check out a friend's property. I'm not going to put the camera on it. I'll just give him a little verbal. Uh, yeah, your property's okay. And then we'll uh, we'll go down to the Mar Beach Road, which will be at the end of the street. Which, uh, oh hell, what's the name of the bay there? Is that San Antonio Bay? That comes around the corner to uh, Aransas Bay. When we were over at the boat lift, we were at Copano Bay. <laughs> In the videos the earlier today, the shorts, 
we were at Aranzas Bay. Here's 4th Street. Yeah, no flooding at all over here. I got 50 miles left in, the, in my gas tank. No flooding on the left. No flooding on the right. There are some deer on the right. That's just so weird. They're just standing out in the rain. Uh, I don't know. No flooding on the left. More deer on the right. A couple properties on the left here. They're gated. No, no flooding. I mean, even the streets aren't flooded right here. As long as you got a good slip, okay, property on the right, no flooding, property on the left, no flooding. I don't want to tell you where my friend's property is, but it's one of these properties. <laughs> property on the left, a little bit of water towards the back, but no, everything's fine there. Where the trailer is, that's fine. Property to the right is a home. That's looking fine. And now we're at the habitat. So I'm curious if this little pond on the left, yeah, none of these streets have any flooding. Wonder how high the pond is. The pond is very high. And there's gators in that pond. But I can see uh, some sand hill cranes and uh, some egrets. There we go. Oh, we're gonna find some flooding, guys. <laughs> Property on the left with the gator on the gate. They have a cut out metal gator. You can see a uh, little wash here. It's basically a gator pond on the left here. When we look at gators on Fulton Beach Road, this is the, the side view is on our left here. So I'm just kind of, as long as the street is graded right, there's no flooding. So, and e even, you know, three, four miles away over in Fulton, just because we got heavy rain there, does not mean they got it here. So, and actually, Lamar Beach Road is not flooded. Excuse me. There's a big puddle right there. That's a puddle. Uh, the gator pond is flooded. You know what? This looks low over here. To the left, I don't see any flooding on the road. Uh, the parking lot is flooded where the um, boat ramps are. But even the road along here, at least this part of the road, is okay. That's that's good. And like I said, I don't know if it's high tide or low tide right now. But I'm doing okay, kids. There's a little bit of a puddle right there. I think the worst of it is, uh, at least as far as the rain and the wind goes, is past us. It was one big mass, and the big mass has passed us. And we're going to get some bands from time to time. Uh, my friend uh, Lisa Bailey and Hammer have property over in uh, Holiday Beach across the road. But uh, Lisa said, you know, it's, it's just land. So ain't nothing going to happen. <laughs> we're going to exit. We're going to keep our eye out for deer. But mission accomplished, guys give someone peace of mind and let them know their property's okay. I would say just about anywhere in our area, again, unless you're right on the water, your uh, property is going to be just fine. Hey kids, um, if I knew a flood joke, I would, uh, I would tell it. I can think of two jokes that would fit here and they're both filthy. So we're going to leave that alone. <laughs> Thanks for riding along today, guys. I hope you're safe. Check out the Storm Chasers. They'll, uh, 
they'll tell you things that'll make you nervous and scared and keep you watching. <laughs> Thanks for watching.